we're in Covent Garden today and as you can see behind me the crowds are massive so I'm just taking my mask off for a moment now. If you're new to my channel my name is Ashika, this is Absolutely Ashika. If you haven't hit the subscribe button yet please do so. You can also follow me on Instagram at Absolutely Ashika. Today we're exploring Covent Garden and its Christmas market and to just give you an idea. Whoa. Covent Garden is one of the most popular shopping and entertainment hubs in London. We knew Covent Garden was popular, but we definitely underestimated how popular it was until we got there. Christmas is my favourite time of the year, and I wanted to see what a typical London Christmas market was like, so we headed over to Covent Garden. A big part of that decision was also because of the massive Christmas tree and the early snowfall that drew not just us, but folks from all around London. But my most enjoyable memory of Covent Garden wasn't the Christmas tree. It was something else altogether. The musician who captivated his audience while singing No Woman No Cry. It was almost magical. And he wasn't alone. All across the square were street performers rousing laughs and cheers from enthusiastic audiences. What wasn't so magical was the throngs of people hoping for a magical experience themselves, which made it quite a challenge to navigate around the square or even get a bite to eat, which, to be very honest, was supposed to be the highlight of our visit. Despite the fact that Covent Garden has a large number of restaurants and pubs, getting a table can be quite tricky with long queues and prior reservations that are required. So we tried to get some lunch and everything was packed and everything had huge, huge waiting lines and there was like a 40 minute wait so instead we decided to get ourselves some hot dogs. So today we're going to try something for the first time and this is mulled wine. So typically mulled wine is um, port wine or some sweet wine and this one has um, apparently some herbs and spices in it. And it's warm as you can see so oh it is really sweet and i can taste cinnamon and cardamom and i think i like it we caught the snowfall just in time we actually didn't know where it would take place until we saw a bunch of people standing around the christmas tree with no particular purpose and figured that must be where the snow would fall and rightly so, at the stroke of 7pm, we had flurries fall onto excited onlookers, everyone from children to oldies. We also tried making it through the frozen tunnel after that, but as you can see it was really crammed. So it wasn't as fun as we hoped, but it still made for some really great pictures. While leaving, we actually stumbled upon Dishung, one of London's most famous Indian restaurants. But we were sadly too tired by this point to head inside. So that's something for another day. So do I recommend Covent Garden at Christmas? Oh, absolutely. But remember, weekdays are definitely a better bet than weekends if you'd like to soak in the place leisurely. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. You can also follow me on Instagram at absolutelyashika. If you feel this video has helped you, please give me a like. Thanks for watching.